Hey Sam here, welcome to this video. Now I'm excited today to show you Rebrand Press 2. This is the second version of this software. Um, you might have recalled about a year ago I promoted this software before and um, I showed you basically what it does. Now the real key benefit of this software is the fact that you can actually rebrand WordPress and uh, the benefit of doing that is if you're working with a client, for example, and you want to sell them a website, so you've done the website for them, you go to sell them the website, uh, his WordPress on the inside, and if they search for WordPress, then they'll see suddenly, oh wow, um, WordPress is free, and they may uh, not perceive as much value uh, if uh, if you'd sold them a website where you've rebranded the inside, it looks really nice, it looks unique, and it looks like a lot of care has gone into rebranding it and making it look really nice. So what this software does is it allows you to rebrand WordPress, all of the different menus in WordPress. You can decide whether you want to keep the logo in or not. So say for example, if I was to change the logo, you'll see that WordPress has disappeared up here. If I was to go back and I was to rebrand it and I'd say, hide the WordPress logo, I can hide the WordPress logo. There's a number of improvements that have been added into this since version number one, and you can actually find out about them down below. Uh, also, there's a number of bonuses that are available with this software as well. Let me show you what the rebranding options are, and just to reiterate um, and, and let you know, this is a plugin. So it's a plugin, and all it does is it edits the dashboard here completely. So, for example, if you wanted to edit, edit the dashboard panels, you can hide certain components, you can hide certain activity, hide certain comments, hide welcome, um, the welcome pan panel, you can make certain things visible, add your own welcome panel, and basically you can customize uh, WordPress to look as you want inside of the dashboard. There's a lot of settings here, it's very, very flexible. Say for example, the login screen. You can completely customize the login screen very easily through the software. I could say yes, customize the login form. I can upload my own logo as the login. So you know how you've got that login dashboard when you log into WordPress. Um, well, I could actually customize that. I could add in my own logo there, such as a logo like this one right here. And when people go to log into my um, WordPress website, then it would show up with that logo. That brings up another opportunity as well. If you're running a membership website or selling products online, you can actually customize your login um, for WordPress. If it's that you're hosting your website on WordPress, you can customize your logo very easily through this software. And you can also customize your login panel as well. So you can choose where the, um, where the positioning is, you can choose um, what it looks like, what brand it uses, you can customize the form if you want, and you can make the background color white, or you can choose to make it uh, the regular color that it is. You can even, if you want to, completely customize the background of, say, the login, and you can make it red, for example, or you can make it blue. So you can, uh, you know, people that are logging in won't know that it's WordPress. So it'll be unique, it'll look really nice, and it's not the standard WordPress login that you see when you purchase a course. This is a professional looking, um, you know, website that they'll be logging into. You can then go ahead, you can save your changes as you want, or you can move down as well. Now, as you'll see, there is a lot added into here. This is only one panel that I've been showing you here, which is the login panel. If we were to continue down, you can see there's also admin settings. You've got the ability to hide certain components of this. You've also got the ability to rebrand the color of this entire interface as well. You can hide certain parts inside of WordPress. You can have um, you know, certain parts hidden so people don't have access to them if you don't want them to have access to them. You can also um, choose what kind of navigation is here. So if I wanted to, I could actually hide that dashboard URL right here. So dashboard wouldn't show up. I could go, I could save changes. Okay, well that didn't update. Um, the reason it didn't update, and I was just reading here, is this will only be updated for people that are editors. So say for example, um, and this is just specifically for this setting here, it's not for other settings, but for navigation, if you wanna customize the navigation here and you wanna hide dashboard, for example, like this, um, it's only for people that are editors. So if someone, say for example, if, if you're giving someone access to update your blog, then you can hide certain parts of this from them, and then you can assign them as an editor. So um, as it says, you're currently logged in as the admin, so you will not see any changes in the menus until you log in with a different user role. So you could actually assign um, your client to an editor as well if you wanted to. If you wanted to manage their WordPress blog, you could do that as well. 
You've also got advanced settings, so you could actually manage what the administrator gets access to. You can manage what the editor gets access to, manage what the author gets access to, manage what the contributor gets access to, and far, far more as well. So if you've got people logging into your WordPress blog to update content um, or anything like that, you can edit all of the different uh, access that they have. You can change the color scheme here, so you can customize the colors to be as you want them to be. So right now we have this one, this color scheme installed. If we wanted to, we could choose scheme four, for example, and we can see what that looks like in our WordPress blog. It rebrands it, you've got another look, and you can play around with these. Depending on what kind of look you want, you can choose what you want for that look. You could also create an About Us page. So this About Us page is, um, uh, basically, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, that about us page um, can be added to your main site. You can create a home page. You can create a privacy policy and a number of different pages from this menu as well, making it a lot easier to do that. And it will basically immediately create these pages if you want them to be created for your website. You can delete all of your posts. You can delete all of your pages if you're starting off with a fresh site. You can even delete your theme if you want to in all comments. You can also change the theme from here. You can activate certain plugins, deactivate certain plugins, install plugins at once, and install multiple themes at once as well. Or if you wanted to, you could clean your entire website, and that basically means that it completely resets your um, WordPress database so you can start again. We don't want to do that. Um, what this is giving you is not only the ability to rebrand your website, but also it gives you a number of different options um, to make it a lot easier to navigate the website and adjust the settings as well, above and beyond what you could do with a regular WordPress website. Cool, so that's basically what the software does. It gives you um, a lot more power over WordPress to do a lot more. As you can see, you can adjust um, the different panels, you can adjust the theme, you can adjust what logos are seen, the login page, the branding. This is all adjustable. It's perfect if you're working with an offline marketing um, client. It's also great if you sell digital products through WordPress because you can actually rebrand your experience um, for customers coming through as well. Cool, so that's what this software does. It's going to give you the ability to rebrand WordPress, and if you want to find out more about it, go down below and uh, check out the bonuses as well. Get access early to get the best price. This is Sam Becker. I hope this was useful and you now understand what the software does. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.